Hey guys, what's up? Jinch here, and welcome back to another uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive movie making tutorial. Um, that was a bit weird. Last last uh, tutorial I did um, did incredibly well. It did a lot better than I would have ever imagined it would have done. Um, I don't know why, it just did. Um, and that one was how to green screen and add depth of field into Counter Strike. Um, Today we're going to be using the same program as we did there called HLAE um, and today we're going to be looking at, um, at modifying um, the death notices inside of Counter-Strike as well as change the player's names as well which I haven't seen done much of. Um, so again we're going to be using Half-Life After Effects. If you don't know how to install and set this up, if you, uh, I'll leave a link to the um, green screen tutorial in the description below. At the start of that video, I show you exactly how to do it, how to set everything up. So I recommend going and watching that first, setting up uh, HLAE, coming back to here, and we'll get started. Um, if you already have it installed, then keep watching because uh, here we go. So um, we've got Half Life After Effects. We're going to open this up. And we're going to launch Counter Strike the same way we did last time. So we're going to go Tools, Developer, Custom Loader, and then OK. This is going to launch us into Counter Strike. Um, and then once we are in, we've got our console and we've got um, our little notification that says, obviously, you've launched gaming in secure mode. Um, so, polite reminder don't join any community servers or anything like that um, because that's bad. Um, <laughs> Now, this works with any GoTV demo. You can download a demo from Faceit, ESEA, HLTV, uh, download your own demos. This will work with anything, any, Go, any GoTV demos. Um, for the purpose of this tutorial, we're going to be using the exact same demo we used in the last tutorial. Um, and instead, we're going to be looking at round number 12 here, uh, where I pull off a naughty little 4K. Although it's not really naughty, it's quite bad. But still, uh, I need a round where I get a lot of kills so I can actually show the death notices. Now, uh, once you've loaded in, uh, we're going to pause the demo and uh, I'm going to show you both the things, but we're going to do them d uh, separately. Um, I've already recorded this tutorial and I did them both together and I thought that that was a little bit too, it was a bit too much. Um, now, one useful thing I am going to do though is pull up a website um, and obviously if you've got a notepad, um, that will be excellent to use. Um, otherwise, I'm just going to use... Um, pastebin.com here to take down a few notes um, which we're going to need to look at in this video. So the first song, first one that we're going to do is we're going to have a look at manipulating the kill feed so it A highlights our kills, B only shows our kills and C makes them so that they stay up for a longer period of time. Now in order to do this we need to get what's called our unique attacker ID and before I try and make this too complicated it's really not. Um, the first command that we're going to type into our console is merv underscore death message so that's death msg space debug and then one um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just pull up this console so it's just a little bit of the console up in our top right corner and we're going to play the demo now um, we're going to speed it up a little bit until we get going and what we're going to see pop up in this console here is our attacker id um, any second now once you've got a kill which will be here. There we go. So I've got a kill and this little line of um, of text has popped up in our console saying uh, see her death notice uh, fire game event. We've got our unique ID attacker, which is three. So that's going to be our ID. And then you've got victim and a sister. Um, but we primarily want to focus on the UID attacker here, which is number three. So I'm going to put in here UID uh, three. And that's all we need for this section. So we're going to go back to the start of the round. And this is where we're going to enter in our our kill feed um, commands into the console. So uh, we've got the first one, which is going to just display our our kills, is merv underscore death message space um, block space explanation mark and then your ID. So if we have a look, our ID was three. So we're going to put three, space, and then the asterisks. So that means it's only going to show our kills. 
Uh, so we'll press enter on that one. The next one we're going to do is obviously make it stay up for a longer period of time. Um, so we're going to do again, merv underscore death message space. And this time notice lifetime. And normally, obviously, each round it changes. If you've got an ace within like 10 seconds, then you'd want to set this to 10. Um, but because my four kills in this round are quite long and drawn out, instead, I'm going to set this to 90. So the death message comes up and it stays up there for 90 seconds before it disappears. Um, oh, so it's Merv underscore death message CFG. Notice lifetime 90. Um, that's when you want to put in. So... Um, Obviously, as I said, if you set this to 120 seconds, which is two minutes, the length of a normal round, well, the maximum length of a round, well, I don't know, that's not maximum length of a round. Anyway, um, if you set it to 120, then the kills are going to start overlapping on top of all the rounds, which you don't want. So this is custom to your round. Uh, change that to however you feel necessary. Uh, the last one we're going to do is highlight them. So we're going to go Merv underscore death message highlight id uh, space and then three so we're just going to highlight our id and then um, that's that done for our for our death notices so if we click or in fact if we go back to cl underscore draw any death notices one and we go resume uh, what we're going to see here is just is just our kills pop up um, so we're running drop bomb blah de blah run through and there we go so you can see our first kill is popped up and it's staying up and it's highlighted there is another kill right now that just happened and it didn't pop up um so obviously that shows that they're working in the fact that it's just showing our kills uh, again second kill pops up it's highlighted we're still only seeing our kills and they're staying up for a longer period of time uh, we'll only go up to the third kill here where we get that one um so we've got three kills there all three kills have been highlighted um they're all blocked together and they're all staying up for a long period of time so that's how you do your um death notice one um now we're going to uh, set our death notices back to zero uh we're going to go back to the start of the round and this time i'm going to show you how to change the players names um so we're going to do merv underscore death message block clear which is going to clear our block um and then now we're going to do merv underscore replace underscore name debug and then one so this is going to work the same way the death message one did we're going to play through the round and every time we get a kill we're going to get the um the, the id of the player that we killed so we're going to play this round out Scrub through a bit here. Um, now you can see it's already started popping up things. Ignore these. We're just going to wait for this first kill. Where I come in here and get the kill there. So the first kill that I got was Deza. Okay, we're going to change all of these, don't worry. Um, so the first kill that I got was Deza, which was an ID of number 7. So we're going to go into our paste bin here. And we're going to put 7. So that was the first player we killed. We're going to watch back through. Okay, go, that's the second player I killed, and that was Tactical T, um, Major Flash. So we've got, where's Major Flashski? There we go, and he's number nine. So our next player we killed had the ID of number nine. Let's play again. And this guy that we killed was Jenneru Sushki, uh, which is this guy here with the ID of number 10. So we've got our three players that we killed who had the IDs of 7, 9, and 10. Now I'm just going to set the notice lifetime, notice lifetime back to minus 1. CFG notice, I always forget that. CFG notice lifetime back to 1. Um, so that's going to be our default. Um, and then we're going to go back to the start of the round again. 
And I am going to run through the same the same death notice commands um, just so we've got, you know, it's, it's nice and clean. So we're going to go merv underscore death message uh, notice cfg notice lifetime. We'll do 60 this time because we don't really need it to be that long. Um, and we're going to do merv underscore death darth death message block and our id was three asterisks and this is how we're going to replace the player's name so remember you've got these three ids of the three players we killed and the first one that we're going to do is merv underscore replace underscore name space and then the id of our first player which was number seven and then two speech marks and inside of these speech marks we're gonna type the name of the player that we want to change the name to um so let's have a think who watched the last tutorial we had um hopping around hopping around watch the last video so we'll we'll pop his name down and press enter and that's changed um the player with the id of seven who was previously named Deza, you can see on the left hand side his name now in the kill feed will pop up as hopping around the second player that we killed was number nine. So we're going to go Merv underscore replace underscore name nine. And then the next one. And let's go clicky. Big old clicky crisp. Um, and then the last guy we killed was an ID of 10. So Merv underscore replace underscore name space 10 space. And then who else watched it? The demo vault. Which is insane. I would have never thought the demo vault uh, guy would have been watching my videos, but hey ho, there we go. Um, so the demo vault as number three, or our ID of ten. So now those names are replaced. That's literally all you've got to do to replace the names. So we're going to hide our console, uh, or in fact, before that, we're going to do CL only draw no death notices one. We're going to resume, and I think I did the notice lifetime a bit too early, so this kill feed's going to stay up for a little bit. Um, but oh no, there we go. Cool. So we're going to see our death notices pop up now, um, and they should have the new names in them as well. So obviously you can get super creative with these names. Um, you can name them absolutely whatever you want. So um, you can obviously make some quite uh, quite funny videos. However, here we go. So we're going to go into our first kill now, and there we go. We see the. Uh, death notice pop up it's staying up it's highlighted and the name's been changed to hopping around second guy is clicky crisp uh, that's also highlighted staying up um, and it's the other one that I mentioned a second ago and then the third guy that we should be killing here is the demo vault so here we go and that is the demo vault there so as you can see we've got all three death notices popping up all blocked together blocking out all the other kill feeds from all the other players um they've all got their new names with them so obviously as i said you can make some quite good good looking videos with these um but that's pretty much it guys um obviously to set the lifetime of the uh death notice back to default um all you've got to do you might have seen it earlier is type cfg notice lifetime minus one that's going to set it back to their default um, so it pops up and then it fades away after the default time um, block clear is going to make sure that um, it's not just your death notices that are coming up so if you type merv death message block and then clear that means it's not just uh, your no death notices that are going to be popping up it'll be everybody else's as well um, and i i guess that's pretty much it guys so thank you very much for watching this video um i hope you have enjoyed it um i don't know whether it's going to do as well as the last one but let's go for it so um if you could leave a like if you if it's helped you out um if it's helped you out a lot then subscribe because i'll be bringing out a lot more of these um kind of tutorial movie making videos um so it'd be great to see you guys stop by um and hopefully learn some stuff while you're here. If you want to learn anything else um, that I haven't talked about yet, leave a comment, let me know, as well as any problems you encounter, leave a comment and I'll do my best to help you out. Um, and then, yeah, stay tuned for more of these kind of uh, tutorials coming up, guys. Thank you very much for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of your day.